Dr. Keith Jaluso is researching the many animals that inhabit blowouts or sandy areas in the Nebraska Sandhills. You might pick out certain areas like this to seek out to find your biodiversity of insects or small mammals or snakes or the lizard that we just found out here. Oh, there's a little velvet ant. At a young age, Keith's father, who is also a field biologist, encouraged him to have an appreciation for animals and the environment. What is this? We have got a mole run. Their scientific name is Scolopus aquaticus, and so you think with aquaticus that they swim. They don't swim in water, but they swim in sand. To prove to yourself that there was something through here, I'm gonna put my hand, and all of a sudden it's gonna break into a, there it is, and I can feel a hole, a tunnel going all the way through there. He is currently working on a research project to map biological diversity on the Schweitzer Ranch in the Nebraska Sandhills. My hand is not leaking water, but this is a defense mechanism of a little critter that I found. <laughs> this is a woodhouse toad. Oh my gosh, this thing is almost white. Blowouts provide habitat for a large number of species. Species have edges, and there's reasons why they have edges, and so it's going to end when they hit the end of the sand hills or the sand hills that get too uh, much rain, and so there won't be enough open sand for the adaptations for them to best survive. Look at that big tail. We'll take As a vertebrate a ecologist, Keith spends a lot of time outside studying the distribution and number of species in an ecosystem. I wouldn't be necessarily going down the middle unless I was looking for insects or tiger beetles, but I'm going to be on the edge where there's some cover. I am absolutely a kid in a candy store. There's a prairie lizard running along the edge. Kangaroo rat hole. There's another one. There's another one. Now here's a little cutting. Oh yeah, that's been clipped off by a rodent. Here's where the kangaroo rat might be going in one way. Here's an out hole where he shoots and the animal doesn't even see he's coming out the other side. And so we can see with nice sand, uh, the story unfold right in front of us. There's where they're feeding. There are a variety of habitats in the Nebraska Sandhills. Here along Gracie Creek, they are setting live traps. They walk in there, they step on the back, and the door closes. There's some species you can just reach in there and grab them, and they're not going to bite you. Other ones, I wouldn't do that forever, because <laughs> they'll chew your little finger off. As a biology professor, Keith encourages his students to develop a sense of wonder and curiosity about the natural world. It's a runway of animals down here. We're going to have quite a few voles tomorrow. Keith often continues his research late into the evening. Many mammals, like the kangaroo rat, are nocturnal species. They sleep during the day and forage at night to avoid being easily spotted by predators. In the morning, Keith checks the traps and records information about the species that make their home along the creek. Door here. Meadow vole, Microtus pennsylvanicus. You know, there's a lot more data we can take on these weights, and uh, I just take down usually the sex and the age. Follow your passions if you have an interest in science and getting out there. If you're interested and have a passion for it, go for it. There's just unbelievable paths you can take to become somebody who cares about the environment.